What's in a name? Well, if it's the ranking of most popular baby names in Britain, a lot. Especially if the number one name is Muhammad. Recently released data from the Office of National Statistics shows that for 2009, Muhammad and variations of that name rank highest, with 7,545 babies named last year. Oliver comes in at a close second, and Jack is third. So what do Londoners think? Muhammad. Yeah. It's shocking. Not every, everybody in the Muslims are terrorists, you know. So a lot of people kind of shy away, but a lot of strong Muslims have come forward. That's why I think a lot of them are naming their children after Muhammad, because it's like a, a more of a statement for them, basically. I'm not surprised, but I'm not happy. I'd like to think that our own indigenous population, a name from our own indi indigenous population, would be top of the charts. It's a shocking thing, really. In fact, variations of the name Muhammad have been among the top 10 baby names for several years now, a result of Muslim immigration and high Muslim birth rates, say analysts. 10% of the British population now are from uh, migrant backgrounds. It's about 6 million people out of a, out of a population of around 60 million. Uh, that's significantly more than it was. Britain is changing. I mean, if you have a, a, have a sort of chocolate box image of Britain as a place of, uh, of pubs and thatch cottages and everybody playing cricket, then, then maybe this doesn't accord with that. But here in the UK, only 4.6% of the population is Muslim. So how did Muhammad become such a popular name? Well, to answer that question, we asked Imam Abdullah al-Hassan. He has a newborn son and he is contemplating naming him Muhammad. It's a miracle of the Quran, we, really. The first reason why people keep the name, uh, the children's name Muhammad, is because of the love of the Prophet Muhammad, because they want to emulate him, they want to copy him, not just in his behavior, in his conduct, but through his, also uh, in his name. The Muslim population in Western Europe has swelled from 10 million in 1990 to 17 million today. <laughs> But amid public anxiety, new laws are targeting Muslim communities. France has banned the burqa. Switzerland has stopped the building of minarets, and other nations are considering following suit. For those who might be alarmed by the number of Muhammads in Europe, Al Hassan has this message. You shouldn't be scared. You shouldn't be frightened or anything like that. It shows that Islam is here to stay in Britain. Islam is here to stay in Europe. Islam here is here to stay. Islam is not something, it's, it's not alien from the Western society. It's not alien from the British, uh, British context. Not unexpected perhaps, but surprising nonetheless. Atika Schubert, CNN, London.